I made a video there a few weeks ago and I linked to it up here if you're watching on YouTube on the right hand side about small business accounts and some basic terms and some basic definitions that you need to understand if you're thinking about buying or selling a small business and these would be accounting terms fixed costs variable costs turnover gross margin net margin that type of thing I've made a video as I say already and if you have a look up here and you're watching on YouTube I'll link to it and you can have a look at it people expressed an interest in a few other videos in relation to basic accounts and small business and so on and I am happy enough to do such a video this one then I'm just going to expand a little bit on the notion of gross profit margin and the difference between three different types of business if you have a look at the screen there now you'll see that I set out there a very very basic rudimentary spreadsheet in relation to three different types of business one is a filling station one is a convenience store and one is a pub I have personally owned each of these businesses over the last 25 30 years in my career as an entrepreneur and small business owner if you look at here on this line you'll see weekly turnover or sales so let's just say that the filling station has a weekly turnover of 50 grand a week let's say the convenience store has a turnover of 20 grand and let's say I have a pub with a turnover of 10 grand if you have a look firstly at the VAT exclusive sales all these figures here the 50 the 20 and the 10 include VAT now in terms of breaking down your VAT it's not that straightforward to just take 23% off the sales figures and say that's your figure because two of those businesses the filling station and convenience store and indeed the pub will be selling goods or services at different rates of VAT for example the convenience store will be selling newspapers at a certain rate it'll be selling uh, cooked meats and fruit and veg at zero rate and likewise it'll be selling other stuff like confectionery shaving uh, gear razors um, bathroom accessories and so forth at 21 percent filling station then it's the same story you're selling fuel diesel and petrol at 21 percent however you could be selling fruit and veg in the shop at zero and so on so the VAT exclusive sales figure that we're looking at here I'm saying it's estimated and it's just for the sake of this illustration that I'm showing it so we're saying then that the 50 grand becomes 40,650 excluding VAT likewise with the convenience store likewise with the pub if we assume a gross profit margin and my experience in these games is a gross profit margin along these lines this is not hard and fast it will vary from time to time it will vary from location to location but by and large my experience is a filling station will get your gross margin of about eight percent that will obviously depend on the car wash then as well and how many cars you're washing because that will be a big factor in terms of increasing your margin just on that point if you increase your margin with the car wash by definition your car wash is much much busier there's much greater profit however your variable cost your wages have gone up because if it's a handheld car wash you're going to need somebody to wash the cars now you may have a drive through car wash it's a different ball game bigger investment and so on but i'm just making the point that fat exclusive sales is one thing gross profit margin will vary but i'm just saying for the sake of this illustration we're saying eight percent for the filling station twenty percent for the convenience store and forty percent for the pub these figures are based on my experience and they're not entirely off the um, off the scale they do bear relation to the reality of the situation the gross profit then you'll see along the line number eight this line here gross profit you'll see it's actually the same for each of the businesses so notwithstanding the fact that one business is turning 50 grand a week the other is turning 20 and the other is turning 10 they actually all end up with the same gross profit now when you go to see what your net profit is you've got to be looking at your operating costs and you're going to have as i said in the previous video fixed costs and variable costs fixed costs are costs that you're going to incur no matter whether you open or close whether you open five days a week seven days a week or you shut the place down for a month you're still going to pay the same amount for insurance for the year and you're still going to pay the same amount for rates they're fixed however variable costs are wages so wages 
in a pub or in a convenience store or a filling station will vary depending on how busy you are and so on. So the wages figure will be tied to a certain extent to your turnover. Clearly, if you're doing 50 grand a week in a petrol station, you have a certain wages bill. If you're only doing 20 or 25 grand, and the same would apply to the other two businesses, if you're only doing 50% of the figures that I've illustrated there, then it's quite conceivable that your wages bill will reduce as well. So that's something you need to factor in. However, there is a level below which you can't go with wages because clearly you're going to need somebody there uh, or a number of people there to cover the various hours that you're open and the shifts and so on. The point that I want to make is this. Each individual business is unique. It's like a human personality to a certain extent and they will have their own particular features and characteristics. They will have their own margin, their own turnover and their own particular costs including wages costs and the job for you as an entrepreneur if you're starting a business or running a business is to carry out a sort of a forensic x-ray of the potential business that you might be thinking of buying or starting up and running through various models running through various scenarios to see under what such situation or circumstances do you need x number of staff and what percentage will your costs be, your fixed costs and your variable costs to the overall turnover and so on. These are the sort of questions you need to be looking at. This is the sort of analysis you need to be carried out. But you can't carry out this analysis and you cannot carry out any sort of a strategic or forensic examination of any business without knowing some basic concepts such as weekly turnover or sales, the VAT exclusive figures, gross profit margin, gross profit, operating costs, fixed costs, variable costs and so on. And then obviously as I say each business is different, different characteristics, different industries have different margins but they also have different demands in terms of wages, overheads and so on and so forth. So a pub you could be looking at a gross margin of 40%, you could be looking at 8% in a filling station. However in a pub depending on whether you're uh, only doing drink or you're doing drink and food then your margin is going to vary significantly from this figure but also your wages costs are going to vary significantly from this figure just to give you an example let's say you have a pub and it's a nice quiet pub and you're doing practically all of it yourself you can probably turn over the whole lot yourself uh, along with yourself and your wife or your partner or whatever and you're not doing food and it's not labor intensive and you're pulling pints and you're serving small ones and so on and so forth and you make a nice living now that day is probably gone that ship has sailed now you're expected to do food and so on but the whole offering will be different than if you're doing food, you're in a bigger establishment, you're going to have to have practically restaurant type standards in terms of health and hygiene and um, food regulations and so on. And obviously your wages, your overhead cost is going to increase significantly as well. So again, you know, even if you only take one of these businesses, the pub, you could actually find a major disparity, major difference between one pub and another and depending on whether it's a rural pub or a um, urban pub and so on and so forth anyway i hope i've given you some food for thought and if you like the video give it a thumbs up down below and um you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel but in any event i would appreciate if you give it the thumbs up down below thanks a lot